Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, welcome. Get ready to travel around the world with me in less than 30 minutes. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you already haven't done so. And if you have, thank you so much. So stay tuned. As soon as you enter, there's the registration and they hand you these cute little passports to enter the fair with raffle tickets. And these super cute suitcases have candy in it. Gia, the witch, Ireland. First booth is Ireland. See all of their stuff. You guys want to tell us a little bit about this? Sure. Um, we're Motor City Irish Dance Company. We're based out of Rochester, and we do um, traditional and performance style Irish dance coaching for uh, three until however old you want to come in. So are you going to be performing today? We already did perform Okay, today I missed it. <laughs> um, so yeah, the costumes on the table, these are very traditional costumes. So this one is the best in killed will be a traditional young boy's costume. This is um, a young young boy's costume? Yeah, and this okay. will be for a young lady. There's uh, Irish lace and then traditionally there would be white linen shirts underneath each of those okay. with lace on the cuffs and collars as well. Okay. Um, and then we also have some more modern costumes which are going to be these over here with the crystals and the red one over there. This is our middle ground costume. <laughs> Here's our middle ground costume. That this is one. beautiful. Mid 2000s uh, style dress. This one. Guys, this is their business card if anybody wants to get a hold of them. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Namaste, India. Jo bole so nehal, sat sri akal. Get ready to celebrate the Punjabi culture with me. These guys had several different stations set up. They had a turban tying station uh, where they told you exactly what that turban means to them and what it represents. They had clothing from uh, their culture. They had shoes. They had poster boards explaining more about their culture. They had handicrafts. So many different things showing their culture so beautifully. Each of these booths did have a representative that answered questions about their culture and it was amazing to see how many people were coming up and questioning and wanting to know more about these different cultures. So beautiful to see that. They had a poster board set up with basic facts about their culture. They had clothing, they had shoes, they had handicrafts displayed. Everything was displayed so beautifully representing their culture which they are so extremely proud of. Just look at all these cute and beautiful handicrafts and these uh, with the blue tassels that you see, you tie in your hair as a braid and you incorporate it in your hair. Uh, these little poster boards that they had were so amazing to look at because they explained so much. It showed their wedding, it showed their food, their sports. I mean, they gave you so much information and just by looking at it, you understood more about their culture.
here is the station where they were tying the turbans. Look at these two cuties! <laughs> I'm going to introduce you to these two cuties. What is your name? My name is Sidak and his name is Harjot. Harjot, what are you guys doing over here? Can you tell us a little um, bit? We're uh, tying turbans. What does a turban stand for? Uh, it stands for uh, um, equality, love, and protection of the people, like protecting others around you and protecting their rights. So how we tie it is we take a long piece of cloth. How long is the cloth? Do you know by any chance? Very, very long. Yeah, it's very, very long. <laughs> and you fold, it's like this big, and you fold it into thirds, so it's this much, so it looks very neat and clean. So how you start it is you keep it like completely straight, and then you put it over here, and then you take the folded part and go around and around, and then put it over again, then keep on going around, and then tuck it in. I don't know where my tuck is, but it's over here. right over there. And then you tuck it in, and then you uh, you just try to make it like clean like this. And if you want to make it kind of loose, you right go that, and it makes it a bit loose. Do the colors symbolize anything at all? No, no they're just perfect. perfect. I love your guys' colors. Excellent. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Look at these beautifully dressed dancers ready to perform the Bhangra in a little while. Hola, Mexico. Guys, this is the booth for Mexico. <laughs> Can you tell us a little bit about it? Anybody? I'm putting them on the spot, guys. This is not fair. I'll see the board. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Bonjour, France. <laughs> oh, very cute, very cute. Tell us a little bit about it. Okay. <laughs> Not putting you on a spot or anything. <laughs> this is just France. We love France. I'm the French NHS president at Rochester High School. And I'm the French club vice president. Okay. <laughs> I'm moving out there because I'm a senior. So oh, congratulations, I'm graduating. Senior. Sarah is the junior. Here's some of our little landmarks that you probably already know about. Hi, this is the Louvre. The Eiffel Tower. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thank you. Marhaba fi, Saudi Arabia. Hello. Hello. I'm thinking Saudi Arabia Association at Oakland University. So representing our culture of Saudi Arabia. This is our flag. This is La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah. No God but Allah and Muhammad is the last messenger. And as you can see, we rise from right to left. And here we are, have something from our culture. This is our pattern for the coffee. And this we use it for incense. I did meet Russia over there. She was doing the food. 
put the pressure, pool, yeah. You put, put the pool here, put the pool here, and you put the incense. The coals and is incense? Yes, yes, yes. Wow. wow. And we have like, uh, this is the holy place. Makkah, of course. And this is the top of the Kaaba. Wow, that is gorgeous. Yeah, with all the people praying at the same time. And we have a custom on different places, this is from the north. The people used to wear this one in the past. So this is the, for the women, for the men. For the Saudi Arabia. This is the north of Saudi Arabia. This is the, this is the south. For the people from the south used to wear this. This is the east one of Saudi Arabia. And here, this time is the This time is not the last but not least. This is the west of Saudi Arabia. These are excellent. This is the currency? Yeah, this is 100 real. This is for 10 Salman. And this is another 100 real, King Abdullah. And this is 50 real, 10 Salman as well. Approximately at this point, what is the currency exchange rate? About, approximately. Okay. One real, one, one, one dollar, three real. So this one, five real, four, two dollars. You can see this is in Arabic, this is in English, the numbers. So, so all of your currency is in English and Arabic? Yes. yes. So okay. Thank you thank so you. much. I appreciate it. Thank, thank you. you. Now write my name in Arabic, guys. It's Faiza. Faiza. The winner. <laughs> Down. Thank you so you are, much. Faiza. Thank Welcome. you. I appreciate that. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thank, Thank you. you so much. I have a section all set up where you can try uh, the different nationalities, foods. All of these are different, different countries, and they're letting you taste a little, give you a flavor of their country. The flavors of Poland. This is Polish sausage. The flavors of Japan. Sushi. The flavors of Greece. Opa! The flavors of Sweden. Swedish meatballs. The flavors of France. Crepes. The flavors of China, fried wontons. The flavors of Thailand, pad thai and coconut curry. Hello. I will, at the end, I'll come and try everything. This is Russia and she's going to tell you more about her country. Yeah, so we are from Saudi Arabia and we are president uh, of uh, Saudi Arabia and Auckland University too. So we are today here, um, uh, Rochester School, they invited us for our event, so, and we provide um, Arabian coffee, so... Yum! Uh, you guys know I'm a coffee lover, this is Arabian yeah. coffee! <laughs> yeah, and we have here, most popular too, uh, the dates, and we had also our coffee. Guys, they're so popular, their food is, look at this! They love their food! <laughs> What is this called? Uh, Mamol, which is uh, yeah, uh, dates on it and flour. So, so it has dates inside. <laughs> oh, thank you so much, Russia. Yes, it was a pleasure meeting you guys. Bye. Bye. I love your henna. It looks beautiful. Hey, everyone. I'm going to introduce you to Jatinder. She's going to tell you more about her culture and the food that they have from her culture. Hi, everyone. Um, we are so glad to have this multicultural program in Rochester Hills uh, and I am I belong to Sikh religion which is North West Mass of India and uh, we have a uh, lot of uh, 
lot of excitement for, for this occasion because we are learning about so many cultures over here yeah. and uh, I'm so glad that we are given a chance to come and talk about ours and so we have uh, food from Kulkari Punjabi kitchen this is uh, pakora that we are serving here and which is uh, spinach, potatoes, onion uh, is uh, deep fried in a gram flour and then we have a kheer which is a nice pudding and beans and please enjoy the food over here and we are going to have a cultural dance bhangra in like another half an hour so enjoy that thank you so much Jatinder I appreciate that thank you The flavors of Mexico, tacos. The world is ours. Look at all of these cultures together under one roof. So many different varieties of so much different ethnic food. You guys see it, they have a little bit of sushi, they have Indian food, they have Japanese food, they have Greek food, uh, Polish food, tons and tons of different, different cultures represented here. Hey guys, let's try some of the food. Of course, my favorite samosa and pakora. Look at this. Mm. So good. Excellent food. You get to try so many different nationalities food. There is Japanese, there's Greek, there's Indian, there's Swedish, there's Polish. So many different varieties. So many different cultures represented here. Let's try this one, the samosa. This has a potato filling inside. Look at that. And let's try that. This is so yummy. Look at this. Mm. It's like a pastry. Very warm. With the potato filling inside. Let me show you guys. Look at that. There's peas and potatoes inside. This is a fritter made uh, with chickpea flour and um, spinach. Look at that. Mm. These are so good. This is, I have to show you guys one of my most favorite desserts. It's kheer. It's like a rice pudding. It's made out of rice and cream and it's just really yummy. Look at this. Look at that. Mm. This can be served either cold or hot. I do like the cold. It's so delicious. It's so good. Mm. So good that I'm spilling it all over my clothes. There's dances here. Uh, there's different um, nationality food here. Uh, you can see their culture represented in each of the booths. They have things from that country as well. This is my mission to share the Punjabi culture with the world through performing arts and dance. They share their love and dance through their... They share their love of dance through their empowering Bangara classes and through their captivating performances. Please welcome Fertile Dance.
So we wanted to give a quick tutorial um, of how to do a few Pangara steps. Uh, the dance that we did, it's called Pangara. All of us are very proud of our Punjabi culture. So if you want to get involved, feel free to stand up or come towards the front. We're going to share a very simple move with you. I hope all of you guys enjoyed attending this uh, cultural togetherness fair with me. I had a fantastic time and I'm so glad I got to share it with you. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you already haven't done so. And if you have, thank you so much. Remember, always believe in yourself, love yourself and take care of yourself. Until next time from this fair. Bye, guys.